Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is a pawn of the global elite in service of the New World Order, according to a bombshell admission by his half-brother, Kyle Kemper, who goes on to claim that Justin does not write his own speeches or tweets, but instead performs scripts written for him by his globalist overlords. Trudeau is not speaking from his heart, insisted his brother, who added blackmail is a very powerful tool. Many of us have talked about and reported on how Klaus Schwab's World Economic Forum are penetrating governments and corrupting world leaders. Ready for some validation that you can share around? If you're Canadian, take a seat. Your Prime Minister's own brother is about to explain why Justin Trudeau is so determined to tarnish the Canadian nation. If you're from America or another country, pull up a chair and have a listen. This is a signature lesson in how the globalist elite attempt to destroy countries from the inside. Asked why Trudeau is determined to tarnish the Canadian nation, Trudeau's brother said that he is merely a puppet for the New World Order and takes orders directly from groups such as the Council on Foreign Relations and Bilderberg, which are all controlled by the World Economic Forum. What do you think your brother's reasoning is to be doing this to the Canadian people and, and tarnishing our cultural ways and, and who we are as Canadians? What is the drive that is is a lot, is is his reasoning for all of this? What do you what do you right? Think? Well, I mean, I I don't I I'm going to start by saying like Justin is you know the leader of the Liberal Party and everything that's coming out of his right now out of his mouth right now is written. All of his tweets are being produced by a team. All of his statements he is he is the face. And like, you know, the, the, the lead spokesperson for the Canadian government, but the policy and the initiatives that are driving it and that are driving his, uh, like, you know, the, this narrative that he continues to push, which in my opinion is decidedly anti-Canadian and anti-freedom is like coming down from, you know, the higher ups from, you know, groups like, like, like the World Economic Forum, like the Council on Foreign Relations, like Bilderberg, um, et cetera. Then, and they, they recognize, you know, we need to have these strong kind of agents within, within uh, governments. And I think one of the things we've seen is all around the world, we have, you know, I'll be frank, weak leaders, um, uh, you know, who, who are able to like act as kind of spokespeople. Trudeau's brother also declared that Justin's disastrous and anti-freedom policies do not represent his true self. In short, he's being controlled by the global elites. He is not speaking from his heart. I don't honestly believe, like, you know, that is not candid. There's no discussion. This is why he's afraid to, or like, you know, this is why he's not being allowed to actually engage with, with the freedom convoy and with these people, because there's a lot to unpack here. And there's a lot of serious questions. And, you know, the truth is easily debated, but lies like can't be debated. So it's like you don't even enter the debate when you were dealing with lies. So and and then also like, you know, when you look at like the history of people like Jeffrey Epstein, like what their role was. Um, you know, to trap people and blackmail people. And like, you know, you think about a lifetime of opulence and opportunity, like, you know, you're probably, you, you, you make mistakes and, or like, you know, you get coerced into doing something bad. And I've heard from, you know, multiple people, like not, not specific to Justin, but like of situations where, you know, all of a sudden it's like, you know, this, this girl comes out of nowhere and she's on it and you're in, you're in a special, a special room or a special house. And it's like, come on, come on. Like, let's, yeah. let, let, let's do that. Oh, you're married, but they're like pushing and they're trying to make something out of they're trying to make something happen. And this is how like, you know, when a camera's on there, then, then it's recorded and you're blackmailed. And so like blackmail is a very powerful tool. Kyle Kemper is not a nobody. Not only is he Justin Trudeau's half-brother and the son of Margaret Trudeau, but he has a business portfolio. He is a founder and the chief executive officer of Swiss Key, and previously an executive director and strategic advisor at the Chamber of Digital Commerce Canada. He finished his BCom marketing business from Dalhousie University. So now you know some real truth about Justin Trudeau, not theory or speculation from afar. The raw truth spoken from his own brother's mouth. Justin is a pawn of the global elite. He does not, nor has he ever, served Canada. 
And it should come as no surprise. Klaus Schwab is on the record boasting about how the WEF penetrated cabinets in governments across the world. And according to Schwab, Canada was the first country to fall under his control. So we penetrate the cabinets. So yesterday I was at a, rece at a reception for Prime Minister Trudeau. And I know that half of this cabinet, or even more half of, uh, half of this cabinet, are for our uh, actually young global leaders of the world economy right. form. It's not the first time somebody close to Justin Trudeau has raised serious questions about very dark subjects. Christopher Charles Ingvaldson, a long-term close friend of Justin Trudeau, was found guilty of child pornography charges after being caught directing an international paedophile ring. Ingvaldson entered guilty pleas in BC Provincial Court in Vancouver to accessing child pornography and possession of child porn. He was also initially charged with two counts of importing and distributing child pornography. At the time he was charged, Royal Canadian Mounted Police said that 11 members of the paedophile ring in three countries, Canada, Australia and the UK, had also been arrested in their respective countries. Justin Trudeau and Ingvaldson have been closely linked since their days as roommates at college, and after completing their teaching degrees they were both accepted to teach at West Point Grey Academy, an elite Vancouver private boarding school. After becoming Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau encouraged Ingvaldson to run for political office as a member of the Liberal Party. Ingvaldson announced his desire to be the Liberal MP candidate in the district of Vancouver, Kingsway, and developed a social media page announcing his plans to run. However, his arrest and subsequent imprisonment on child porn and paedophilia charges have ended any chance Ingvaldson had of entering politics, even in Trudeau's Liberal Canada. The revelation that Justin Trudeau's close friend is a paedophile has come as no surprise to Canadians who have been watching the Liberal Prime Minister closely. They point out that Trudeau has many uncomfortable ties to paedophilia. Let's take a look at the Pierre Elliott Trudeau Foundation. The foundation is named after Justin Trudeau's father, the former Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau. It claims to support creative and critical thinkers who make meaningful contributions to critical social issues. However, the Pierre Elliott Trudeau Foundation has a history of using paedophile symbols. A case in point is this image taken from the 2015 to 16 annual report of the Pierre Elliott Trudeau Foundation. The use of this symbol seems an odd choice for the foundation, given what WikiLeaks emails reveal the FBI has to say regarding its true meaning. Justin currently has nothing to do with the foundation that bears his father's name, as he's unable to be publicly associated with it while actively serving in government. But he was directly involved in overseeing the operation from its creation in 2002 until 2014, and is expected to return to it upon his retirement from politics. Given those facts, it's highly unlikely that he is not heavily in contact with those running the foundation in the meantime. On various internet forums, users have pointed out that this possible link to paedophilia does in fact possibly offer an alternative explanation for some mysterious occurrences that occurred around Trudeau earlier in his life. As mentioned earlier, before Justin followed his father's footsteps into politics, he was a teacher at West Point Grey Academy, an elite K-12 school, a school that shockingly had two separate sets of parents shot dead during the time he was teaching. Officials called the killings gangland murders at the time. Keep in mind this gangland violence was apparently occurring to parents sending their children to an incredibly expensive private Canadian prep school. The murders also happened to parents with no previous criminal records, but who were suddenly labelled mafia loan sharks after their violent and unexpected deaths. Nobody associated with the school believed the gangland excuse at the time and they still don't. While one is free to come to their own conclusions based on these facts, there is at least one thing we know for sure, that there have been no violent deaths among the students or their families since Involton and the Prime Minister left the school. Is there a paedophile ring operating at the highest levels in Canadian politics? And is the current Prime Minister, a multi-generational elite leader, involved? Only time will tell. The world is waking up to the truth about the globalist elite, and so-called conspiracy theories are being exposed as conspiracy facts at an alarming rate. Here at The People's Voice, we are determined to continue reporting on the issues that really matter. After all, if the mainstream media refuse to do it, somebody has to. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video if you want to join in our campaign to educate the masses about the reality of the power structures that rule over the world. We are all in this together.